All right, guys, welcome back. This is a special, special video. Super excited to show you guys what we have going on. We're on our way to you guess that CJ Boats. We're back. We're back in business. Everything is everything's good. CJ is actually back. He's here with us. I believe he's in the uh, he's in the Ford in the back. So we're bringing in some boats that we had at the last dealership. We put those in storage and then we got this place up and running. So I'm super duper excited to show you guys this place. It's beautiful. The last place was amazing, but this place is even better and it, it looks really good. We hired some more employees. We got better employees. We had to fire some. So it's uh, it, it, it's just going to be better overall. And the lake, the lake is beautiful. And here it is, guys. Here is the road driving in. So imagine you're a customer. You're looking to buy a boat. This is what you see. I think it's I think it's awesome. It's really cool. I think, yep, our mechanics are already here. We got two CJ boat signs in the front. Can't miss it. Our shop section is in the back, which our mechanics working on over there. And then this is where we're going to keep. That's the showroom, full glass, full everything. And then pulling back in, here's our parking spot for people who want to go on the lake, for people who want to check out the dealership, for people who want to, we have a restaurant as well. So it's pretty crazy. I'll show you guys the boat ramp. I'm actually going to put in the, the jet sea. So later today, we can go on a little ride and we got a beach. We have a beach running the whole entire length. We have some work to do. We we still have work to do on this place, but it's, it's like 80% of the way there. I think it looks really good. All right. So here's the ramp. Super gradual, literally a beginner, a 10 year old who's never driven a truck before could probably back in a boat it's so smooth so flat so wide there's really uh no excuse to it so there's the restaurant down here too i'll show you guys more of that in a bit let's go meet up with the guys and we'll talk to them all right guys what do you think what do you think of the new place i, I love it nice. I, I don't think we could have done any better that's right that's cj it's good to have you back man i think i think we need you to stay no more slacking no more camping try not to go camping can't guarantee anything but i'll try <sighs> try on. ian good to see you back man yes sir we used all that loan money i guess i mean turned out good yeah i think i think it looks amazing i love the landscaping and did you get a new did you get a new uh new car here you got rid of the yeah what did you have before uh, before i had a range rover, range rover. i got a jeep jeep track hawk supercharged uh the thing's got like 650 horses in it so really thing is fast yeah it's it's like a, it's like a hellcat motor from a okay, dodge okay i see you i see you and, and then uh cj's still got his old black pickup Same i like it is it raining now on. what's going on with um i I think they're broken. I need, I need to take it in for some maintenance. Okay. It won't turn off. That's weird. Yeah. Anyway, looks good, guys. Let's go in. And I think the mechanic's here. What's his name again? You hired him, CJ? Uh, I think it's Savage or... Uh... That's his Something nickname, like that. I think. Yeah. That's his nickname. I don't know. That's okay. what he goes by. All right. So name. probably funny before we guy. Go in, yeah. Before we go in, I want to show you the new boat, though. I, I picked this one up. Uh, CJ, you told me to. Uh, yep. 27 Everglades. Okay. So it's, our, it's our new inventory. We were going to get a bunch of them. Uh, but we're a new dealer for Everglades, this model. So. Beautiful. Pretty Twin cool. engines got, uh, on the back, yeah. Yes, sir. I think it's 425 each, so pretty good. Jimmy Christmas. We're cooking. Yeah, and then uh, it's got everything on it. I mean, check it out. It's pretty cool. Absolutely, man. This is sick. I don't know too much about Raising these types lower. of boats, but I'll learn. Yep. Yeah, I'll show you over time. It's pretty cool. Cool, cool. Guys, pull around. I I put the jet ski in the water, and I'm going to I'm gonna ride it later to show the lake off, but let's go. Right, I'll, I'll put this uh, fishing boat in the water, too, I think. Okay. Right Ian, if you want to pull, let's pull that into the showroom. Okay, yeah, I'll pull it in there. Okay. Whose Lambo is this? That's uh, uh, some, some dude named Leslie Chow left it. He dropped it off. It does look like Chow's. He has a gooseneck hitch on the back of we parked here when I got here. Like ever since we built it, it just well, yeah. When we here. when we put that advertisement out, free boat ramp and parking. He's like, oh, free parking. I'll park my Lambo what here. What the heck, man? That Leslie Chow's crazy. All right, guys, let's get in. Let's uh, keep your eyes peeled if you see Chow too. Those guys are gonna get moved around. Here it is, beautiful. And I want to give a real quick shout out to State Farm and Hench from K20 Customs for making this dealership. It's super super awesome. I love it. And we like the landscaping just makes it pop. So thank you guys, State Farm and Hench, for making this. It looks beautiful. It looks it looks great thank you guys i'm gonna throw their facebook pages in the link in the description if you're interested in that before we put the dolphin sculptures right in the front i think it looks perfect we had to put these barricades here to get it up to code because technically somebody could just like fly right through fly right through these windows and just like come inside so here it is opening up oh beautiful huge double door glass doors and then this is a receptionist area where you can kind of hang out and where our secretary is going to be it sounds like those guys are pulling back in the back showroom so we got to turn these lights on super nice led lights in here and they're both the same size i think and there's an upper deck too so you walk upstairs beautiful anyway i should probably walk walk the walk the place with them all right ian's trying to squeeze this guy in the back i found the light switches and so this is what we got we have this super nice forklift and it's got a uh it's just got a ball on the end of the fork and so you can literally angle this thing in so tight like put it in really good spots so beautiful 
beautiful and it has it has duels on it to make it like a little more stable because sometimes we use pretty big boats with it and he's squeezing on out beautiful tile floors look at that this is insane it, it's a little smaller than our last one but the back room back room is pretty big ian that was awesome how you put that boat over there nice job man yeah thanks the forklift uh, helps out a lot it's pretty cool yeah you can go like so tight with it and perfect yeah i forgot to ask you which uh which desk do you want i'll take uh can i take this one because i can kind of like see over the railing yeah for sure uh cj is down below so we can we're up here perfect perfect yeah cj can uh deal with the customers because that's what we always did last time and i mean like i like to but sometimes it's it's nice to get away yeah do you see these uh these computers i can play farm sim with like a thousand mods really these things are fast yeah here, let me get back here it's kind of tight nice man looking at some rims okay okay let's jump down there where did cj go and i want to get on the lake before the sun goes down too Okay, yeah, for sure. Uh, I think he might be putting his boat in the water. Okay. Howdy, boss. How you doing? Doing good, man. It, 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 nice to meet you. Is your name Savage, you said? Yeah, that's my okay. nickname. My real name is Johnny, though. All right, Johnny. Or Savage. What I, Sa I'll just call you Savage. I'm Spencer, then this is Ian. We're the two head salesmen. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, too. So, uh, see, so you, do you know CJ, or you, you guys just found him through the hiring process? Uh, I kind of know him from some other stuff. Cool. Issue. Cool, 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 yeah, man. Yeah, we have the uh, we have the enclosed uh, shed over there. So if you see the docks out there, Spencer. Yep. Uh, we can put all of our uh, any of our inventory or any customers' boats out there. I think there's about six or seven slips, and then there's enclosed wells too. And then the restaurant too. Yeah, we're gonna have that. I think that's being almost done built, but yeah. Okay. Cool. CJ, this place is awesome, man. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. It took some time to design, but you know, it turned out okay. Yeah, it's. I mean, the showroom's a bit smaller, but honestly, we have this like it, it's one building. Last time we had like a shop and then we had like the showroom i like that it's combined yeah i don't we have a plenty of land south of here right yeah uh, yeah we own tons of land here actually. cool we, we own all sort of that way okay yeah so we could always do an addition and i'm sure that's pretty easy to just knock down a wall and start building so cool cool man you guys want to get on the water yes sir uh, do we have more than boats that i gotta i gotta ski and then if you guys want to jump on other stuff you can i have that everglades over here that i brought in and it's all ready to go i just gotta do a little bit of motor work to it but then it should be ready to go perfect Alrighty, well i'll talk with you guys later all right all right i'm gonna get this thing fired up and get her warmed up a bit we'll get them get her out on the water there's some old like abandoned thing in there too i'm not too sure it's like uh i almost want to say it's a castle but that's been there for a bunch of years this lake is about two or three times as big as our last one we were at so we're gonna get a lot of traffic outside of just like people coming to the dealership there's more ramps like down in town that people people jump on this lake here we go get her unloaded and we're good i need to i'm gonna beach it here what's super nice is we have nice sandy beaches that we can just run the skis right on and we like don't have to worry about anything there we go got our beach maybe ran up just just a little too far but i'm gonna pull the truck and trailer forward and so i was kind of a part of the team that was designing the ramp system and how we would do this for for when we got really busy like how can we space it out one we made the parking lot like overkill way overkill so people can pull big trailers through that's why there's such such like a big space between them so then people can park their trailers and these lines are just here to we're gonna make longer lines but we didn't want people to get confused we made short ones so that it felt a bit more open and then you can just stick your trailer back here and obviously if somebody has a super long trailer then it's no big deal you just let it stick out as far as you want because there's so much room and there we go. So I can just keep it there. And then I'm going to go run out. We'll get on the jet ski. I can't believe this is actually Chow's Lamborghini. So how about what you guys think that's all about? Like, why is he here and stuff? Kind of weird. Don't really know. All right, guys. So this is the lake. There's CJ Boats way back there. They're working. They're having trouble with the trailer. But it's pretty wide open. There's a few, like, islands, inlets. There's actually a river that, that, that goes for a ways. I think it's a few miles. But pretty much open. There is a party cove. There's this cliff jumping area over here, which is really cool. Like, a lot of people do cliff jumping at. So super it's really blue water too which is super nice but yep this is where a lot of people run up and then they jump off really really cool stuff and then here is one of the biggest public pe public beaches around here i'm not sure i haven't been back in here i haven't been on a jet ski on this like i've been on a boat a few times but not a jet ski all right i think this goes away back but i'm gonna get going fast here there's not too much all right this is the river that goes through and there's not too much traffic this morning and it's like a weekday so it's not it's not too crazy going underneath the bridge here this is my favorite part that's so cool and then here's another big cliff jumping spot so there's a lot of cliffs on this lake which makes it really cool we have more work to do on this lake too so it's not like finished and you might see later in episodes like down the road that like hey that looks a little different and then there way off in the distance you can see cj boat so it's a really long river i've been going for about 10 minutes here and we're going pretty fast so i 
Do you need to be careful if there's like any trees and stuff? I know they cleared a lot of the trees, so like there's no risk of it. There we go. Looks pretty cool. The water's flat and nice back here. It's not, the wind can't really pick up and get going too fast. So you can really go fast. There we go. The walls get pretty steep in here. Kind of dangerous almost. All right. And then we're back. So here it is. This is the restaurant over here. So we can pull up, pull up to the dock. This is kind of what it's meant for. And people can come and eat. We actually have this side is public. And then the other side is private strictly for our customers and different things like that. So I'll just go right here. There we go. Tie it up and then we're off. So I can just keep the jet ski right here. Here comes somebody too. And then this is if anybody's having problems on the water or say they're like sinking or there's just their engine died and we don't want to take it out of the water. Or we can't. Then we can try and fix it on here. It just makes it we're a lot more versatile. And we got the restaurant, a bunch of other things. And then you guys are probably wondering like, why is there water where people are going to eat this? This is for people who want to want to eat on like in the water so you can have your swim trunks this is probably just for like the warmer times but pretty cool idea that they came up with i think it looks awesome all right well i'm probably going to kind of rearrange some things in my office here and kind of get get things going one thing i don't like how this table is like in the corner i kind of have to like squeeze back in there but it is kind of nice because it's like welcoming to um to people coming up that we're working with or and i i should probably get a few more chairs up here too but we're expecting a delivery and we have savage out there in the forklift getting ready to take the delivery not sure exactly what it is cj had this planned and i totally forgot about it and so it looks like the shipment is in we're gonna do some yacht stuff we always have we've been thinking that we, we probably need more storage at least bigger storage for bigger boats like this we can fit a few of those in the back but after a while uh bringing in other boats too so we're gonna have one of these yachts on site it's gonna be kind of uh one of our more like extreme boats, but if we do sell it, it'll be big money. So there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. If you want CJ Boats to keep going, that's uh, that's a way to tell me. Hit the like button. Best way to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This was, uh, this was a really fun episode to make. So excited to make more episodes, and I'll see you guys in the next one.